My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about boxes. So, Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> I'm so funny. Matt, you fucking comedian. Right, let's talk about boxes and a comment that I've been receiving quite uh, quite a lot, not often. Or well, maybe often. Yeah. It's getting hot. Um, boxers. So boxer engines just like Subarus and uh, VWs and BMWs and Subarus and Subarus and Subarus. Porsches. A lot of people have done boxers. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes, so people keep on saying it. it's all to do with the one stroke slash gable engine. I shouldn't say one stroke anymore because I'm not calling it that. And boxers, you know, so your pistons go out like this and I did the little boxer dance or what have you. It's quite cool. Um, people say, oh, why don't you make the gable engine a boxer engine and all the rest of it? It's, in, it's uh, perfect stability and balance is what somebody said, which is not true. So, yes, they are more inherently balanced, but they are not perfectly balanced. Um, and this is actually nothing to do with, uh, you know, in the real world, yes, not perfectly balanced, because you will never get pistons that are exactly perfect, and there's other reasons and so on. But uh, as you can see from the drawing I've just done, uh, the horrible drawing I've just done now, um, you'd think, well, yes, they are balanced because one piston goes this way and one piston goes this way, uh, mass times acceleration, blah, 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 forces this, that, and the other, momentum, inertia, blah. So what you'll notice is the conrods are attached like this, and this is from just one perspective. If we actually look and we'll take a Subaru, um, there's your throws, you'll have a crank pin here. You cannot have another crank pin here. So in one plane, this engine looks balanced, which is this plane. From this view, it looks perfectly balanced. Your primary uh, moment of vibration and blah, blah, blah is all balanced. And your secondary, one of your conrods is balanced. So it all looks good. However, it does not look like this from above, obviously, because you cannot have two rods that go in and out of each other. That would be mental, but it would also be quite cool. Um, with Subarus, what you have is you have this, where you have um, two sets of webs. They're really quite skinny, and the reason why they're so skinny, the reason why Subaru crankshafts have webs that really aren't thick, that's all to do with um, torsional uh, stability and stiffness, um, but the reason why they can make the, you know, they have to be so thick to be able to take the force of what the crankshaft has to go through. You know, they have to be resilient and as stiff as they can possibly make them. But the reason why the webs are so thin is because of this primary balance, because they don't have to use counterweights to balance that out, they can make the webs thinner just to deal with the stresses, the torsional stresses, the twisting and all the rest of it. They can, you know, they can deal with that, that's fine. But the conrods are actually like this. And when you actually look at this engine, you will see all of a sudden that it's not balanced uh, looking from above, from a top view, from a plan view. It's not balanced in this way, and you do kind of get a slight flexing, rock, rocking couple effect. Um, so it is inherently more stable than other engine designs. It isn't inherently perfectly stable, which is what some people have been saying. I know it's fickle, and it's like, Matt, you've been pedantic, you've knobhead. But it is important that these things, you know, are taken into consideration. And if you just think something's perfectly stable, um, you're going to run into some problems and what have you. And, uh, you know, because of this weird, and it's, it is a strange rocking couple effect, it's not just um, a rocking couple effect, it's actually really bad torsional because these two do this, and it makes the whole thing do this. It's, it's kind of almost amplified uh, rock, rocking couple effect. Which is why Subarus actually do have really quite large and uh, quite stiff um, main bearing caps. They're actually, um, you know, the actual web that holds that bearing cap in place goes all the way through the block because of these forces that are applied to it. Basically, it's just trying, it's a torquing action. It's really trying to twist the crankshaft um, out of alignment. Right, so this is just a quick one. I hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit.